Welcome back everybody, it's time for another Booster Cracking Sunday. Today we're jumping back into some Force of Will. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow, so hopefully you guys have a great Valentine's Day. And I want to get back into a set I just absolutely love. And that would be Echoes of the New World. You guys know I've opened up a bunch of these boxes. I'm trying to complete the Bandcamp Girls, the alternate arts of all the nice characters. These are the ones that I have so far. I'll put them up on screen. I've gotten like three of this one, two of that one, whatever, wherever they are. I don't know. But I haven't gotten a new one yet in a couple boxes. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that we can find a new one today. You guys know what it is already. It's an awesome box. Always looking for Uber Rares as well. I've already gotten her as an Uber Rare and it was an amazing pull, but I'd love to get more of these things and I'm opening enough boxes to where our chances I feel like are pretty good since I'm opening so many. That being said though, I'm gonna burst through this box and just go straight to the rare, straight to the good stuff. And since you guys have seen it already, that should be no big issue. And we'll just try to find some awesome stuff. Oh, this box is sealed tight. And it is sealed kind of weird, honestly. The plastic does not feel the same. I don't know if that's because maybe this is like a second printing, but this does not feel like original packaging. I have no reason to believe that this has been tampered with whatsoever. It doesn't look like it has been, but it just didn't seem like the right kind of packaging. I don't know. Something to note as we get started, I guess. So let's get into our first one here. Of course, we've got the nice commons on top. We're just gonna kind of do this and jump to our nice rares and foils. There it is. It's not a great foil right there. Just an uncommon. Into the next one. Let's see it, let's see it. All right, see, we're just gonna kind of skippity doo dodge straight to the rare and our magic stone and our other uncommon foil. That's a cool card though. Haven't actually appreciated the nice zero on that. Hopefully we can get another zero today. I haven't actually pulled zero in quite a while, like a nice full art magic zero saber, whatever you want to call it. So maybe that's one we can hunt for today too. We got a Lumia and we got a time altering magic stone with an Abdul rare foil full art. Pretty cool, but not worth anything. I don't even know if I'll bother with prices unless it's a substantial pull, like one of the nice substantial ones. So we shall see. Uh, you know, we've got a few ones that have some good value in here, but nothing too crazy as of yet. We got Severing Winds and a Darkness Magic Stone foil. That's pretty nice. Next one. Oh my goodness me. That one's trying to peek through and show us something at the end, but I don't know what it was. I'd missed it. We got Uncommon, Uncommon. We got Luna, Nice Magician, one of my favorite cards there. Nothing too crazy on that, but we got Severing Winds. Very nice foil on that one. I forget what this one is as price values go. I know it used to hold uh, a good amount, so we'll see. Next up. Oh goodness, these packs are sealed like a mother fricker. Holy cow. Okay, Uncommon. Yep, Time Altering Magic Stone. And we got Luna in a nice foil. Very cool. Love getting this one in a foil. I'm doing like one side at a time right now. So you know with this set, there's usually always something decent hiding at the bottom. So at the end of this stack, we might see something good here. We'll see. We got a Crimson Sanction and a Time Altering Magic Stone foil. Cracking in to the next. Let's see it. What do we got here? What's hiding there? at the back, we shall see. Just cutting to the rare, and then we got a nice star fragment, and ooh, I love this one. Strange Miracle Full Art, very nice looking card. I love this one, that is so cool. I don't know if I have this in a full art. You would think I've gotten pretty much everything in this set since I've opened so many boxes, but it just doesn't work that way, guys. It just doesn't work that way, you know? Some things are more common than others. Let's see, we got the Sajiro guy, we got a token, and we got Dawn of the Earth, super rare. Very, very cool, super rare, very lovely card with some very awesome artwork. I don't think it has value though. Next up, let's see it. Oh, ah, okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, this one's not cutting to the back very well. We got the uncommon, we got the regained heart again. Dark Alice, let's go, super rare, very nice. Gotta get this one on a full art, yeah, but we got a win magic stone foil, that's nice. These go for, I think like a buck, two bucks maybe. Here, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. I'm just mumbling now at this point. Okay, we're skipping the rare. I don't want to skip the rare. We got the Strange Miracle as our rare. Then the Wind Magic Stone. Then the Pandora Queen of Miracles. Just a foil on common. Boom. There it is. Let's see it. Into the far deep uncommons. That works. And our rare is whatever the hell this guy is. Bamut. Benamut, and we got Lars as our foil. Unco oh, that's not uncommon. That's a rare. Not a great rare, though. There's one more pack in the right-hand side. Keep that in mind, okay? I'll let you know when we open it, but I'm keeping it there because 
I'm still kind of testing my theory as to how these boxes are kind of stacked and they always leave the good stuff towards the like last three packs in the box. It's kind of interesting. So we'll see what happens with that last box. We got Grim as our rare and we got Fire Magic Stone and our Blue Planet Uncommon Foil. This is the middle row now that we're going into. So we shall see if we can ever get this pack open. Nothing too crazy as of yet in this box. We do get the Chessire Cat as our rare, a Light Magic Stone and a very cool Excalibur rare not a full art though the full art's where you want to be with this card but this one did have a lot of value so we'll see where it's at now oh i think the full art is a decent one that oh my oh my gosh what is these packs are just major glued man crazy all right uncommon rare makaje and we got alice a very nice alice girl of the blue planet as our super rare and then a foil light magic stone all right you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do the uh the power pack play Stealing it from some Max Mofo. We're going to take the last card here. We're just going to look through it and see what our other cards were. There we go. And we're going to keep on going and stack up this nice pile of awesome foils. So let's get into the next one. Let's do it on that one. We'll turn this over. We'll put that down here. We'll show you our two rares. We got Melfi. We got a Wind Magic Stone. And then we will continue on to do this fairly. Let's see it. Ah! All right, there it is. Oh, hey, well, I guess that's the one problem when you've got J-Rulers, huh? We got a J-Ruler. <laughs> Whoops, kind of forgot about that. A uh, Flute Time Altering Priestess. Uh, that's not gonna be included in the power pack, although I would have loved that. Kind of forgot when you have flip cards, that's one of the problems you'll face, but that is a, that is a decent pull. We need to get the full art of it to have it really be ha highly valued. So that's something we can still look out for. Although I don't think you can double up on J rulers. That might be the only flute we see in this box, unless it's like a crazy Uber rare or something. Flute's a good hit though. Flute's a good hit. Ah, I don't mind getting flute. I guess we'll just keep going and we're just gonna pray that we don't hit a second J ruler. Let's see what this one holds. We'll do a couple more. I've got like one more pack here that we will do oh what is that that's a token okay that's a token Whew. all right we got a token and we got luna again man we've been pulling a lot of her that's crazy one more pack we'll add to the stack and then we'll check them out let's see all right should i oh i can't do that let's do this there we go flip these over bang 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 and now the power pack let's pick up all these cards and flip them over to see an amazing dark alice manifestation of rage super rare foil that's the one to start it off right there. That is fantastic. Regained Heart Rare, not too shabby. I think it does have like a buck value, maybe. We've got Ultimate Swords Master Faria in a nice looking full art. That is sick. I don't know if I have the full art of her. Very cool. We got Shezerod here, super rare, full art, banging on. That's great. I think I pulled that one in the last box. And then a water magic stone to finish us off here. Just a simple water foil magic stone. I could have gone a little better, I think. <laughs> Maybe just a little. I don't know. That was uh, probably didn't go as good as it could have gone there. But we've got our rare Rezard Knight dude. Darkness magic stone. And then we got detachment uncommon foil. One more pack from the middle row. But we are still saving one more pack from the middle row at the end. It's the final pack in the middle row. So... We will go into all those at the end. We got a rare, and then we got Prissia ready for the final battle. Rare foil, pretty sweet. Love it, love it. All right, we're on to the lucky left side now, you know? That is the side that we love to see because it gives us all the good stuff. Not in this pack, though. Let's see the next one. Ooh, ripping the Force of Will card there. Oopsies. Not like it matters. Those things don't exist anymore. I would be a rich man if they did. Regained Heart, we got a lot of that. And Dawn of the Earth in a non-full art this time, but a foil. Boom! All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. And bang. Uncommon. Uncommon. There's our rare. We got Lilith Priest, Darkness Magic Stone, and Interdimensional Space Uncommon. Huh! All right. We got a nice little common foil there. And a rare is our Mikaje guy. We got Dawn of Re-Earth again, and we got a Star Fragment Full Art Rare. Very nice, very nice. I like that card. Not worth anything, but still. Next. All right. Okay, we got our Angel Common. We got this dude. We didn't really go into the rares, but there's our Shining Demon Mustafales. A cool card. Darkness Magic Stone and Cheshire Cat. Phantasmal Fighter Foil. Sick. 
Next, let's see it. Oh, there it is. Star Fragment. What, that's not Star Fragment. Hey, there's Luna again. Holy crap, we've gotten her a lot. With our second J Ruler, we've got the awesome J Ruler Full Art, too. That's nice. Leader Albert or Albert, Aldebert, Aldebert, Dimension Brigade Leader Aldebert in the Full Art. In the Full Art. I would have loved to have gotten Flute in the Full Art. Are you guaranteed a one full art J ruler and one non full art J ruler in this box. I haven't noticed that, but I'm going to start keeping that in mind for future boxes. Cause I almost feel like maybe that's a thing. You get one full art J ruler, one non full art J ruler, possibly, possibly, but still cool card to find. And I'm not sure where his price is at. We're going to have to see. I don't think he's valued too highly, but it'll help that he's a full art. We have not seen our alternate art yet. We are almost done with the lucky left side currently. And we left a pack in the lucky, lucky left side for our end pull here. So we got Lilith's Petal Kitsune King as a rare full art. Wah! Yeah! Okay. Let's see it here. I'm seeing some bright colors at the end. This might be the pack. I got a little hint of a color. So let's just take it easy and see if we get our pull here. We get a super rare Shesra. This does mean we have a full art of some kind behind it. And it is, yes, yes, Charlotte, last hope of Atresia. I don't have this one. Let's go. This is sick. Keyboard girl herself. It's just floating. There's no stand on the keyboard and there's no seat underneath her. But who needs a seat when you got an awesome looking artwork card? You don't need any of that nonsense. You can just float in midair. But <laughs> let's go. We got a new one. Finally, Charlotte, too. She is a pretty pricey one from what I've been seeing. I think she's like at 30 bucks now, 25, 30. These things have gone up in price quite a, quite a bit, uh, which is pretty crazy. So definitely happy to find this one. It's an excellent pull. And finally, a new one. No more doubles of Alice of the Blue Planet, uh, man, or Kaiguya. Uh, that, this is a great brand new pull for me. So fantastic. Let's go. But we're going to keep going and we're going to see, you know, what's at the end of this box just very quickly. We still got a just a few more packs. Rare, Dawn of Re-Earth, whatever, Light, Fire, Magic, Stone, Foil. Oh, we are down to the last five, guys. We're down to the last five. So let's see it. Let's see if we can get anything else crazy in here. Rare, whatever that crazy dragon is, and a No Barrier of Shadow, Neo Barrier of Shadows, Uncommon Foil. Next, let's see what's in this one. Bang, bang, bang. We got Machinima. Ooh, cool. I haven't gotten you in a while, man. That's crazy. I wonder if he's valued any highly, even if he's not a foil. Our foil is the Sajuri Patriarch of Vampires, uh, but I don't think he's got any value, really. Okay, there are three packs left in this box. One from the right side, one from the middle, and one from the left. Let's see what we can get. I'll be honest, there's not much left to get since we already got our two J rulers and we already got our alternate art. So... This is a long stretch, but let's see. Let's do the right side first, work our way to the lucky left, and we're not gonna worry about this. We got Lumia and Wind Magic Stone and Viola Rare Foil from the middle side. Let's see it, let's see it. Let's go down to the uncommon. The rare is Luna again. Holy frick, I've pulled like five of her in this box. That's insane. Light Magic Stone. Faria, we already got the full art of her, so this is no big deal. The last pack, guys, let's get into it. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed so far. We got more Echoes of the New World that we will get into because I am not done finishing the Bangirl camp yet. We still, I think, got one more we got to find. So Chessire Cat, Darkness Magic Stone, and hey, a nice red Riding Hood rare. Non-full art, non-full art, but a nice foil nonetheless. Very quickly, some pulls of the day. Just some of my favorites that I like to go over. And again, not a lot of these have crazy value. These boxes seem to be pretty stacked. Like we didn't see any zeros of the Magic Saber. We didn't see any Sylvia's. And the last box we opened, we saw a bunch of Sylvia's. Had some great full arts of those. It's like weirdly specific on what box you pulled depends on what characters you pull it's interesting but faria nonetheless a very cool full art so we got shesrod in a full art as well again no value there but we do have a dark alice a nice dark alice foil non full art but i think she still holds a little but a little couple bucks of value again rj rulers time altering priestess still a good card with some value it's going up in price the full art is crazy right now don't know why and we've got our Dimension Leader, Brigade Leader, dude, Albert, -er 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 -er. I don't know, full art. I'm curious about his price. I really am. I don't know where he's at. And of course, our last poll, our alternate art, our very cool Charlotte, Last Hope of Atresia. 
and the alternate version playing the keyboard looking freaking awesome. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, please, and thank you. Make sure to stay tuned for more Force of Will, and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I got tons of products and tons of sets to open up, so leave a comment below. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video.